Okay lang. Hello! Good afternoon, everyone. This is Master Coach Haslin. I'm a certified life coach from the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur. Welcome to Boss Connect. Who of the hour episode for individuals in the leadership position in their respective organizations? We are doing this video series as a service to our community during this time of physical isolation due to COVID-19. <coughs> and this afternoon, I am with Coach Pai. Hi, good afternoon, Coach Hasmin. So I am Coach Pai, also a change agent certified by the Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneurs. The Boss Connect Who of the Hour is our initiative to connect with bosses, both yes. here and abroad. So we connect to know what is their present situation, how our Who of the Hour is responding, and the outcome he is presently experiencing as a result of his chosen response. Yes, opo. Ano? And for the information of many, Global Institute for Coaches and Entrepreneur is based in Dallas, Texas, USA, with local presence through our 24-7 coaching hub at DCAP Coffee Republic, located in PC Compound, Capitolio, Pasig City. We offer coaching on-demand services any time of the day. Just connect through 0917-586-1661 or visit our FB page, Life Coach Philippines. We also provide life coach certification classes for those who are interested to become a professional life coach like us. Coach Pai. Yeah, so moving on, let me introduce our Who of the Hour. Our Who of the Hour is a very good friend of mine. He is the head of the Institutional Information Office and Personal Formation Mentor of Pareth Southridge School. He is also the president of the Jerry Rojas Leadership Awards Incorporated, or the GRLA, which has been teaching and he has also been teaching and mentoring grade school and high school students for 30 years now. A husband and a wow. father, let me introduce to you, Jose Francisco Cholo Kawada. Hi, Cholo! Hi. How are you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Ayan. so I medyo mahina lang yung signal, but I think Cholo will be in uh, anytime soon, right? How are you, Cholo? I'm okay, I'm okay, thanks. I hope uh, you're okay too. Yes, we're well and good um, yeah. spending time with our family. So thank you for um, actually accepting our invitation to be featured in this live show for today. I too. know thank that you. uh, you're also very busy these days as the president of the Jerry Ross Leadership Awardee. But we would like to square in on how you're coping as a boss. I know that you're in charge of a lot of people as well in Paref, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. How are you inspiring the team? Mm. And maybe you can also share, is there anything that changed in the way you're, you're managing the team these days? Um, yeah. Mm. And we're trying best to, to reach out to, to, to our people. Uh, thank God we're okay here in the household um, with, with my family. But uh, other than that, then yes, uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ay. Ayun. Opo, ano? Sir, can you tell us um, what are your present challenges right now? Uh, right now, of course, we are very scared. <laughs> let's face, uh, let's let's admit that we we are battling with with an enemy that we can see. It's even that's uh, harder to to do. But despite that, despite that, we can stop. We have to go on with our lives, and uh, we just have to take care of uh, uh, all the things that we have to do, and then make sure that we are we're safe. And then uh, we we go on with with our lives. It's hard, but uh, there's no choice. But we have to to do it. As head of the family, also then uh, and then running also on organization, um, both are challenging, but uh, also very rewarding in the end. Yeah. 
So are you also working from home at this time or yes. or not? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so how course. does yeah. your Since, typical uh, day look like? Uh, fortunately, I am with the social media of the school. So my work also involves that. So I can work actually practically at home and still, and still do that. And uh, of course, we have... Uh, I, I get in touch with the secretary, with with staff, and then we update ourselves with our work, and then we submit online also our accomplishments. So uh, they, they check also on us uh, every now and then. So we have deadlines, and so far I think everyone's cooperating because they know that you know, each one has to do his part. So uh, so far I think so far okay, naman lahat. Oh, yeah. So with the current situation, Cholo, would you say that it's been lighter or it's been busier this day, especially your role uh, in social media? So is the light uh, mas madami ginagawa or medyo mas balanced? Sa tingin ko parang pareho lang naman yata because uh, I also check uh, on things regularly in Facebook uh, aside from the work syempre ko ano nangyayari sa labas we we try to to update ourselves so balance the well lot of work pero parang ganun pa rin dati <laughs> so, we we by the time uh, of course we have 24/7 we have time for the house for the home for the family Time for work and then time for other things like personal. So, pareho lang naman. Oo. Is, uh, parang, yeah, uh, we're coping. We're coping with the situation. Pero, sabi nga nila, carry lang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, carry yeah. lang. Gusto ko yan. Carry lang. Oo, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, in yeah. terms of your big rocks, um, I'm sure it, things have changed, right? In yeah. terms of your priorities as a boss, so uh, what now are your three big rocks that you face like every day, or maybe until we are on ECQ as a as a boss? What are your three big rocks? Uh, well, I can divide it into three. Also, uh, mainly, of course, number one is family because we're also leaders at home, so. Uh, we have to prioritize it also. So uh, when you wake up in the morning, of course, the first thing is you thank God. That's just another day. Parang we, de- we, we live one day at a time now. <laughs> so, and then, of right. course, the main concerns at home. That's one. When we're done with that, of course, we look at our job, our work, and then uh, related to the school, what else are, are they expecting us to do? Uh, yun nga, as I mentioned, mga deadlines, mga things to submit. So, you is since we are part of the community of, uh, of uh, the global communities, we have to do our share. And as you have mentioned, we are also with the GRLA, the Jairos Leadership Award. Is and then, siguro kailan din natin gumawa ng tabi ng mas magandang tumulong kesa atay pa bigat, de ba? So the little that we can we, we can do. Ah, uh, kasi medyo limited nga physically. We can't really go out, go to the bank, go to this and that. So in our group, in our communication, is we will try to do our best. Pero siguro, most of this will be online. So that's a challenge also. Pero but the point there is, we're doing something. Kasi kung hindi nang pwedeng wala. Hindi, we cannot just uh, sit back and relax and then just wait. Kasi, uh, yes, of course, we stay home, uh, which is the right thing to do. Pero meron din magagawa from home. Oo, so... Uh, yun, yun ang challenges right now. But uh, I think uh, whatever we have, I think we can make do with them. Uh-oh. I think yun yung importante. We cannot uh, just say, eh, wala tayo magagawa, we're home, tapos na. And then we just wait for another day. No, I think, uh, I think it's still done. Of course, uh, on top of that, it's prayer also, di ba? So in the silence of our homes, then uh, haba naman ng oras, sa dami na oras, then we can also do that. So... Yeah, I'm just praying that everything will turn out fine later and then at, at off now, lahat din okay. Oo. Uh, sana, sana, oo, as we speak, no? Yeah. So based on your observation, Sholo, um, are people getting better in terms of behavior, in terms of the values that we are developing? Definitely, uh, people will change, right? So in this journey, we're already changing. Either we're changing yeah. for the worse or we're changing for the better. But 
in your observation, do you think this situation is getting the best out of people of, of, of your team or do you think it's getting the worst out of our community? I think I would like to believe that we are getting the best also. Because of course, again, despite all of this, we have to learn. And there are two things that I've seen in me, social media, in our exchanges and everything. Number one is our concern now with the family. Now we realize that parang kaya sa kama punta, babalik at babalik ka sa bahay. And then now we are stuck with them. <laughs> so of course we love that. But the uh, young iba, whether they like it or not, they are stuck with that. They have to to do something with that. And, and I think they're realizing that after all this is, mina kita nata yung mga posts, di ba? After all, an ba uh, company, money and all, babalik at babalik ka. E sa bahay pa rin lang ang punut dulo ng lahat. Oh, pangalawa is our faith. I think. Uh, people started to pray some more. Na parang despite all the, the advances in technology, with a lot of money and all, parang just parin di ba? Babalik parin do na well, yung kalaban din natin nakikita. So at least of, I can see na naging more prayerful. Uh, if we look at the mass, this, we online yung uh, ano and high stream line yung mass, you will see thousands of people glued in TV, and then you will see that well at the end, four or five di ba? Nag-glued sa TV or in their computer listening to, to that. So at least these two things. And more going back to the family at home, for example, with the children now, since they they have work, they have school online then, pero it's parang this all time to, to teach them how to work. No, yung mga simple things like washing the dishes, you know, preparing the uh, plates and, and things like that. Fixing your tea, your your clothes, magandang to. And yung mga small things now that we realize na siguro nung busy tayo with other things outside of the home, eh, hindi na isip gawin. So, yun yung mga maliliit uh, na, na nakikita kong value nitong nangyari ngayon. And of course, the the faith, na, the faith na kahit na ano, parang babalik at babalik tayo. Papasadyos natin lang. That's good to know, Cholo. Actually, I have the same observation. It looks like uh, everyone is getting the most of the situation. And it's really amazing how um, God had right-paced everybody because before, before everyone would not have time anymore for the family. It seems like the family has been uh, the least of our priorities and everyone was focused on worldly things like making money, being successful, going to school, getting high grades, right? So I'm sure this is very close to your heart because you are in an educational institution. So how are you managing uh, learning at this point? Do you offer like online classes for the students and for the parents as well? Yes, actually in school, uh, when we were told to lockdown, uh, first before the lockdown, they, were, they called the classes. So immediately, uh, we met in school and they decided, na, okay, we will do everything online. So nakaplano naman na before the lockdown. So which is mm. very good that we're making the school very alert on this. So we plan na on how things can be done, submitted, mga ganon. So, so before that, okay na siya eh. Naka, naibigay na rin namin ng workload and all that. So ngayon, we're just retrieving them. Which is, is incidental. Siyempre, kailangan may end din yun, like year. So I think they ended on March 27, parang ganun. And then the deadline of requirements, submission of requirements was yesterday. So may katapusan din for, for them yung school work. Pero yun nga, other than and that, other than that, may mga pwede pa silang magawa sa bahay naman ngayon. For example, with my kids, they're done with the school work. We made sure na tapos na sila doon. And then now, for example, ito, I, I told my, my children, starting now, I think maybe it would be good for you to, to write in your diary, make a diary out of this. Kung ano experiences nila while they are holed up at home, parang, hindi naman sana, pero parang diary of Anne Frank. Parang ganun. She wrote down at a very young age all her experiences during the war now, I mean, we, we many years later, nakita na yung diary. Now, we learned, eh, ito pala yung nag-experience dati. Kaya sabi, itong pandemic can be a learning, you know, experience for everyone. Maybe 10, 20, 30 years from now. And then they can see it from the eyes of children also. Ano nangyari? At the same time, learning experience for them. They, they're writing skills, and then they get to do that. So, we go, let's do that. 
uh, aside from mga reading reading uh, kasi it's time for them to you know uh, we hit the our library again oh ito bugbos ulit kayo uh, so among other things uh, pati mga household chores na yan so yan so ganun din with the students siguro we would be telling them to do the same oh, to continue lang oh uh, doing these things while we are hold up in our own homes oh including our staff oh, yeah, our people yeah. around so, ano gagawin nila ngayon di ba so uh, di magbasa at saka magdasal yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. opo ang galing po ano ang galing po sir na medyo siguro yung line lang ni coach pa na wala po kayo sir um we have some question here from the someone is watching you right now okay. si coach okay. po sir cholo how do you see the corona shifting your industry uh, Unang-una yun na, the technology we are taking advantage of that. So ngayon na-realize na pwede pa lang mag-meet online, pwede pa lang <laughs> uh, mag-class online, uh, pwede pa lang ganito. So even even the TV shows na, they're doing online. So pukang yeah. nag-shift nga because of this. Pero on the other uh, the other thing also is, yun nga, we have to be careful with with everything around us. So itong hindi natin na akala natin lamo delicado na ito lang biglang wow there's an enemy that we can't even see eh, so parang even in the science world parang ang laki ng epekto din uh, sa kanila so how to arrest how to deal with this ngayon biglang naging uh, health conscious yung mga tao naging mm, ako yeah. at home lahat uhugasan lahat Pag-ano, bago pumasok uh, ganito so Again, I'm not saying that uh, babaliwalain natin ito, pero I think may mga parami tayong matututunan out of this experience na we can already apply even after the pandemic. I mean, it should happen. Even after the pandemic, maging mas conscious na tayo sa ating kapiligiran, <laughs> sa ating environment, sa ating uh, relationships with people also. By the way, one of the first things I did pala uh, is to reconnect with people. Um, I don't, I don't know. If this is just me, or but I just want to share na although this is not original, I saw it in Ellen DeGeneres. So if you saw the video ni Ellen, ang unang ginawa niya sa lahat na nakalista sa kanyang cellphone, tinawagan niya. Wow. Kasi, mm-hmm. wala nang ginagawa, pero at the same time, good thing for me kasi di ba, dami nating friends, pero kung minsan naalala lang natin kung so ngayon parang since we have a lot of time anyway, so kumusta mo lang, kumusta na kayo? I mean, how are you? So I think it's a good chance also for us to reconnect with loved ones, with family yeah. members. Yeah. Kung hindi nakakausap, pati nga sabi nga dito sa amin, sa village, yung mga hindi nyo nakakausap even within the house, within the home, kusapin nyo na kasi ang isang practical value. Kusapin mo siya, might as well talk to each other now and, you know, <laughs> fix things <laughs> at home. So... So, mga ganun. So, yeah, just to make light of this very, very heavy load on oh, in front of us. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Ang daming pagbabago. Ang daming pagbabago. Especially yeah. the real. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It is really ironical, no? Kasi we were supposed to um, be on quarantine and supposedly people are isolated at this point. But mm-hmm. it looks like the quarantine made people closer. So it, I don't know. I'm just really amazed that um, I'm hearing the same thing from the people I know, and in fact, I did the same thing as well, reconnecting with people, family, yung mga dating hindi mo kinakausap. In fact, may mga nag-comment na sa akin, dati hindi man tayo nag-usap ng ganito. Okay pala tong quarantine na to, no? <laughs> and I, I really have to explain na, yeah, I know, I, I was really very busy. In the past, it, it would just be just a yes or no. Now it's a yes with a what and a why and a how and how are you, right? So that's good to know, Cholo, that relationships are being uh, rekindled. And probably, Diva, this will also bring healing for those who are really uh, apart uh, purposely mm-hmm. because of some, some feud or whatever. Okay. So, Coach Haspin, would you have other yes. questions? Yes, Sir Cholo. Dami, nakakatawa po ba that you have a lot of insight to share to everyone, ano? And right now, Sir, mm-hmm. um, given this situation, what outcome would you like to see personally and professionally? Uh, personally, yun nga, one is uh, I'm closer to God. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi hindi ko naman sinabing dati hindi. Uh, pero mm-hmm. na yung parang 
parang leave everything with him. Diba? Parang you can only do so much. People can only do so much. Our governments, governments can only do so much. Science can only do so much. At the end of the day, parang wala. We'll just have to leave everything with him. That's one. Uh, and of course, uh, family also. Uh, sabi nga, uh, I tell my children, when you do things for the family, don't complain. Don't even, you know, raise. Kasi, do it out of love. Self sacrifice. Parang, uh, we'll, we'll do this together. And then, makakaawin, maka. Or, ngayon nga, good. We don't have, you know, house help at home right now. Eh. So, kami, kami. That's right. So, you can, uh, we, we try to divide the work <laughs> uh, among ourselves. So, so ganon. And then, professionally, um, Value your work. Yun nga, yung sabi din nga sa alubas na, dati, pero ngayon, na-realize mo na, you're, you're blessed. Uh, mm-hmm. That uh, we, we, we have these things also. And then, uh, yung, yung, yung uh, I refer to yung blessings natin, na we treasure mm-hmm. them. Pwede mawala anytime. Uh, ganun eh. So, ahanapin mo lang. Kagaya nung iba, may jo- I don't know if this is a joke, pero may, may kurot eh. Mm-hmm. Yung ibang mag-aaral mismo. Siguro dati ayaw nila pumasok. Ngayon, hahanapin nila yung school. Kasi they've been out for how many weeks already. E baka ngayon, dati ayaw nila. Ngayon, gusto nila. Same, same with us. Siguro, there are times na ayaw natin pumasok, pero ngayon parang namimiss nila natin. So, mga tipong ganon, we only get to realize things when we don't have them anymore. And wh- when we have them, wala lang. Bali, wala lang. So, I think these are the times when we try to appreciate na kung anong yeah. nawawala freedom to go out <laughs> and yeah. things like that. So, so uh, yeah, so yung mga ganun. And then, what else? And professionally also is, uh, aside from, although whether we do with corona or with pandemic or not, it's always been my philosophy also is, do your best all the time. Uh, yeah. You never know. Uh, this day, tomorrow, di ba? Uh, yeah. Basta, each day, you just have to give the best. So, yeah. And that's it, di ba? So, yun lang. I mean, where do we have this or not? But more so now. More so now that it has become real, di ba? Natutuo pala, pwede mangyari. And now that we still have time to do some things, they might as well do it, di ba? The best way we can now. Kasi uh, that's the only thing that you can do eh. Sabi ko nga, uh, might as well embrace it, give it your all, and then that's it. Yeah, di ba? So, mas mabuti na nga tumulong kesa ikaw yung... <laughs> Kwan nga, sabi ko, while we, hmm. while we still can, di ba? Meron man tayong kaunti dyan, eh, share mo na rin kasi hanggang kailan, di ba? So, mati mo ba? Yeah. 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 Yes, opo, ano. And 10 years from now, sir, paano mm-hmm. nyo po ikukwento ang COVID-19 to the next generation? Yeah, also, yun nga, eh, na among the, yung mga nasabi ko na more or less, ganun din, no? ulitin ko yung mga lessons na yun, na tipong, uh, mm, yeah. uh, naging malinis, <laughs> tapos, uh, let's be concerned with, with our environment, with the relationships with people, tapos, uh, and then the, the faith nga, the faith, and ano pa ba, that's why it's good to put them on record, uh, na isulat din kasi iba yung perspective na natin siguro 10 years from now so magandang nakasulat siya I, I know yung media din naman maraming record nyo yun so we can go back to them uh, hindi katulad dati na pulos sa uh, kung lang pero ngayon marami na pero ano pa ba how else can we uh, because I'm sure darating naman tayo sa 10 years from now I don't want to think na maubos sabi nga ng iba maubos yung tao eh pero I don't think so I don't think so yeah Ten years from now, we'll be back and we'll be stronger and then we'll learn from all of this. Uh, sabi nga nila, mag-elect din ng mas maayos. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not political, but again, ngayon natin nakita, there are so many lessons that we can see now. Na, yeah. Di ba? Well, maybe ayusin din ng situation at yun nga, Yes, sir. Yeah. You on? Mm-hmm. Coach yeah, Pat. Again, huh? oh, sorry. Uh, so ten years from now, I see a better Philippines, a better world. Wow. Now we are more uh, connected to each other. Uh, not only. Sabi nga nung kahabon nakita ko nga 
ayoko kaninong meme yun. Then, uh, so I, I read regularly sa Facebook din na in, in Europe, they realized something, I'm sure. In in China, ganun din. Uh, yeah. In the US, ganun din. Na after all, are we the superpower? Economies, everything. So, even in Asia, first world countries, third world countries, so ang dami nating napupulot dito sa pangyayaring ito. But I'm yeah. sure we will, uh, we will be stronger than this in the future. Yeah. I love it. Stronger. Yeah. Diba? Mas stronger. stronger. Hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Coach Pai, you have uh, some more question, kay sir? Thank you. Actually, none anymore. I learned a lot. Yeah. Thank you, Cholo, for expressing your ideas in this show. Um, yeah. Although si Cholo naman has always been in touch with the team, so we're very good friends. So, uh, halos every day since the ECQ started yeah. in our group chats, uh, I've been hearing from him his insights, and we continue to I- inspire each other uh, with a Jerry Ross Leadership Award, this um, incorporate professionals group. So, that network is really very helpful full to everyone so yeah if i may just add um having a network of professional individuals mm-hmm. who will inspire you who will um ki- give you positive thoughts instead of depressing ideas would really help in this time of pandemic and for us bosses we have to enrich ourselves yes. with uh, this positive ideas and we have to be strong for our team so mm-hmm. probably uh if you can give us like one last Step, one last advice for the other leaders and the bosses who are tuned in right now. What is that one thing that you can share? Yeah. In addition to what we were talking also, siguro one virtue that we, aside from faith and all, na kailangan nating practice ng patience. Let's all be patient. Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro na, uh, let's learn the the, the, the the virtue of yung waiting. Uh, matatapos yeah. at matatapos yung ito. Uh, yung yung fourth week, eh, agitated na to go out, parang hmm. wala na, tapos na to. Pero no, yeah. no let's wait. Kasi hindi yeah. na, topic pa lang daw eh, yung ngayon eh. So, uh, let's just stay home. Di ba? Let's stay home and then uh, do what we can do at home. Pero meron naman gagawa. Huwag tayong padalos-dalos kasi baka eh, gusto yung lumabas na baka Patience also good too, and that I need, that we need to practice now, even at home with the work that we have. Um, one at a time. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's just uh, pray and uh, do our part. Yeah. 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 Yes. So I agree. Po, I agree. Mm-hmm. agree, sir. And um, with this, sir, as we end this interview, um, kami po ay declare sa inyo ng good health to your family and to your and to everyone else that are watching right now, um, you declare healing, miracle cure, and provision para rin po sa mga tao ngayon na wala na rin po silang sources of income. We are declaring yeah. that that God will really, really, really provide. And yun din po, sir, and thank you for your time. And to Coach Pai, thank you for connecting us with Sir at uh, a pleasure. Nat- yes, madaming natutunan po ang mga Thank nanonood natin ngayon. And if you want to watch this on replay, sir, you can watch yes. this at um, Coach A Coaching Community uh, FB page. So, yun, doon, nandoon po siya. So, you can share this to your family. You can share this to your team. At mapanood po nila yung magagandang insights na binigay niyo po. Thank you. Thank and you very much. My that, pleasure. My yes. honor. Yes. Hmm. Maraming maraming salamat po. And with that, tuturuan Thank po namin you. kayo. Thank you. Maglove bam boom. So instead of sp- spreading the virus, kami po ay managispread ng love para po sa lahat. So this is the love bam. So you form it in a heart, then lapit yung po sa dibdib nyo. Love bam boom. Ganon. Okay. Let's do that two times. Pulitin natin. Let's do that two times. Okay. Gawin daw natin to. Okay. One, two, three. Love bam. One, two, three. Love bam. Boom. One boom, more. Boom. Love, bomb, One more. Boom. Love, bomb, boom. boom. Yes. Opo. Yeah. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Cholo. Thanks, Coach Hasmin. Bye. Thanks,